Hey guys, coming back to you once again from the secret lair. Doing a wonderful, beautiful review. The 1945 M1 Garand. That is a Springfield Garand. Or Garand. Depends on how you want to pronounce it. I absolutely love this gun. This rifle is an amazing rifle. Everyone knows what the beautiful, wonderful General Patton has said about this rifle, amongst many other things. This is one of those deals to where I just ha absolutely have to show you this gun to you guys, show it off, because there is, there's not much of this stuff left. It's getting gobbled up by collectors. The prices are getting to a point where they're so outrageous that just normal everyday folks just can't afford to buy this stuff and just have it laying around um, as a collectible. So I wanted to get this thing out here and show you guys in the flesh this beautiful rifle that I have shot on a many occasion. It is an absolute just pea shooter. It is so accurate. It's an absolute fun shooter. It'll beat you to death all day long. It really will. Um, but it's just one of those things where you just have to shoot this gun. Obviously, it's looking a little bit shiny today. and It is because I hit it down with some boiled linseed oil. It was really, really thirsty. I had done some stock work to it because it was, it was in pretty, pretty bad shape. So we cleaned it up, wiped her on down. She's still got a few more hours uh, left. It's not even tacky anymore. Um, it just probably needs to be wiped down with some good, uh, good polish, and then she'll be good to go. I just, I like I said, I had to get this thing out here and show you guys uh, and talk to you a little bit about it. As we all know, what are the Garands famous for? They're famous for that ping sound. That's that's a beautiful thing. Um, I'm not necessarily going to get into it. You guys could look them up on the internet all day long about pings and stuff like that. This is just basically kind of a review walkthrough video of this particular gun, of the beautiful design of it. Um, we might do some further videos if you guys request them, if you want them on this particular rifle, if you want them on other guns. You're just going to have to let me know, and I'll be more than happy to get that done for you. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to do this for the fun of it. I'm here to do it for you guys so that way people um, that can't see this stuff on, on the regular or can't afford to necessarily see this stuff. I, I want you guys to be able to see this and I want you to be able to enjoy it just as much as I do. This is one of those fantastic things. And we're going to go over here real quick to the wonderful, beautiful bayonet. And this is a bayonet I keep for both my... Ot 3 a3 and my Garand. it's in 1917 it's a cut down but that's very common for that day and age um, this particular rifle was rebarreled from obviously a 45 this was made in January the very beginning of January uh, that's how close the serial numbers were to the end of December of 44 uh, to the beginning of January of 45 uh, this was rebarreled in 65, so I'm assuming that uh, it definitely saw enough action for it to be rebarreled in 65. Obviously, probably, maybe to the, the tail end of World War II, possibly, um, definitely up in through Korea, and uh, possibly, uh, possibly into Vietnam. I mean, who really knows? Who really knows where this gun went, where it was? Maybe it stayed in Korea. Who really knows? Uh, I picked it up off of a collector who picked it up off of a guy who passed away, and it was in an estate sale. So it's just one of those things that just don't really know the story. But I'm, like I said, really, really super excited to show this particular gun to you guys. And um, if there's any questions that you guys have that you want to see with this particular rifle, just let me know in the comments. Let me know through via message. Like, subscribe, and continue to keep on following the page. Share it. Share the videos all you want. Share it with your friends. Tell everybody. You know, hey, if you got something you're wanting to see, let this guy know about it. 
he'll definitely try his, his darndest to get something put together for you so that way you can see it and enjoy it. We're going to be doing a lot of really fun manly stuff. We're going to get out and we're going to go camping. We're going to be, you know, surviving in the wilderness. We're going to be doing a lot of crazy stuff. Real cold weather stuff. We're going to be doing some really, really fun stuff here in the next few weeks. And I'm really super excited to get that stuff put together for you guys and get it out there. So, once again, like, subscribe, share, and I'll catch you on the flip side.